What's going on guys and welcome to this gameplay video of Way of the Hunter. I don't normally play hunting games. I don't think I've played a hunting game since like the original Xbox. Being like Big Buck Hunter or something. But I thought this looked interesting. They kind of made it out to be a little bit more than just a hunting game. It's also just kind of an exploring nature game. Seems kind of cool. First off, thank you to THQ Nordic for sending me a code. I really appreciate it. I don't know exactly if there's a story to this. I think there's a story, but I'm not sure if it's just like a short tutorial story and then it kind of just goes into the full game and starts off with the cutscene this is definitely one of the uh prettiest hunting games i've seen the graphics are uh definitely up there for hunting games I do hope that it is not, or at least there's a little bit more of an arcadey style to it instead of a straight up hunting simulator. I expected it to be more straight up hunting simulator than anything like arcade wise. With some other hunting games, it can be pretty difficult. Why are you looking at the deer like that? <laughs> Wallace Elliot Will speaking. Hey, Grandpa. I'm getting closer to the lodge. Your phone magically erased all the contacts again? River. Nurse Ellen was helping me with it, but she said she doesn't know how these old-fashioned phones work. I'll help you with it when you return. Oh, I'm so grateful you decided to help me with the Bear Den Ranch. Competition is growing every day. Ethically hunted meat with government inspection? Sounds like a pretty niche market. Uh, you'd be surprised. But the demand is rising every day. And with the hoax about the disease spreading... Uh, what? Hoax about the disease? Uh, I can't hear you. <laughs> They're actually you setting up a store. Better now? Yep, way better. The service in the valley is really bad, so I'll make it quick. I've sent you a package a day ago, but I'm not sure when it will arrive. Just make yourself at home and... Maybe greet your old friend Echo. You know, it's been a while. Oh god, I forgot about her. How long has it been? Ten years. I hope you didn't forget the key. Oh god, I did. What should I do? <laughs> Don't worry. The spare is in the usual spot. <laughs> this set up so much more of a story right, than I'm I here. expected. I'll call you later. And be nice to the nurses. But tell them to be nice to me. I'm always a gentleman. <laughs> and kiddo, or I guess I should start calling you River now. Welcome to the Nest Purse Valley. And they set up a little mystery there, something with the disease and a hoax. Some person named Echo, which I'm assuming it's a person, not an animal. Definitely need to up the uh, sensitivity way up there. What do I press the? Oh, okay. I wouldn't really call that a jump. Am I even... I don't think I'm going up anywhere. <laughs> oh, to toggle objective. Toggle objective. No mission selected. Hunter sense.
All right, let's see if I can find this key. Their key? It seems like there's like a full on story. I can do whatever I want and pick up the story later, it says, but. I think I'm gonna focus on the Thank story. Thank God we have a trustworthy mailman. At least. Let me see if I even have. Objectives, enter the lodge from the porch as your grandfather gets older. Okay, that's just... It's been a long time since I was here. Let me get the guns out. I don't have any money, do I? 150 bucks. I can equip that. I have no collars. Any sights? Scope. Get this party started. Reach the northwest balcony on the second floor. <laughs> Seems like Grandpa's my biggest fan. Oh, wait. Are you like a movie star or something? Are you a writer? Stuntman. River Knox. You're a stuntman. Oh, can you like... Oh, that's cool. You can... Edit the taxidermy stand, so you can put things on here if you have them. Do I have any of this? I spend money? Oh no, don't spend money. Seems like there's kind of a lot. No, if you don't need your gun. See you soon, Echo. <laughs> well, spec the map. Are these other lodges? Oh, I gotta go to the office to inspect the map. There we go. You've discovered Nesper's Valley grassland habitat. Open country for beginners and seasoned veterans alike. The meadows serve as prime feeding areas for both pheasants and badgers. Undisturbed grasslands with tall grass have the potential to hold a lot of small but also some bigger game. I'm gonna be so bad at killing things. I know I'm going to miss a bunch. Hunting map and navigation. So let's go ahead and... So... Is it possible to just run over a deer? And that be the... Uh, Yeah, so I wonder if I can just run over animals. Does that count as hunting? There's the bridge. Oh, I like how it's not indestructible. See, I can destroy my car. So clearly I'm not going to meet a person. Is there like a bird or something up here that lives a long time that... I don't know how long some birds live. Or some kind of animal? Or is there like a watchtower? Another issue that I have with hunting games sometimes is that it is just a little too difficult to find an animal. I'm not saying that's how this is going to be, but I have not seen an animal yet. 
At least I'm not paying attention. Oh, I gotta get out. Is there a way to put it in park so it doesn't roll away? Alright. Cross the bridge, take the first turn to the left, cross the river. I'm still going up here, right? Great echo. Oh god. Is it a bird? <laughs> Long time no see, my friend. Fast travel spot. Ahoy! Wait, I didn't greet Echo. Is Echo the... Echo's not the name of the... Uh... I don't... Is Echo like the name of the valley? Vitals hit. That would be a good shot. I don't... Because even though I zeroed in, I don't... It's not like letting me go any further than that. Way too far for a safety or shot. Even while holding your breath, it still uh, bounces a little bit. I think the deer's vitals at 200. So it doesn't seem like. Looks like there's a note over there. I don't know. Hey Wallace, don't forget to take care of the badgers wreaking havoc behind the lodge. Sincerely, myself. You forgetful geezer. <laughs> All right, so now I gotta go kill some badger. Oh wait, am I able to get my car back? Is that the fast travel to the car, or is it gonna just? Or fall damage? <sighs> Elf, there is. I was not expecting fall damage, but I guess that makes sense. Enter the hunting stand. Yeah, hopefully you can just fast travel to your car or bring your car back to the cabin somehow. Alright, is there a correct way to shoot a badger or am I just supposed to shoot it? Oh, I gotta climb. Am I hunting these badgers for food or am I just killing them because they're destroying stuff? Can you eat a badger? I don't think you can eat so a badger. So many burrows. I mean, I guess That's you can eat, eat anything. Badgers are definitely overpopulated in this area. Where are the burrows? Those? Okay. Shoot a badger. <laughs> Dang, I saw a little bit of... <laughs> Man, they're all running away, too. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, shoot in front of them or not, you know? Let me try and shoot directly on him. Okay, so I hit him. He just ran through it. Still pretty terrible. I was missing a bunch. So I can sell or taxidermy it. Am I hurt? Is that why I'm limping? <laughs> Find the badger, claim and harvest it. 
Oh, I like that. It tells me where it was hit. I guess I'll sell it. I don't need to taxidermy it. Each animal has a fitness value which affects the animal's trophy and size of the animal. Pay close attention to it because you can change the average fitness of a habitat by hunting low trophy scores. Dang, dude, they are fast. I guess he's not fast. He's just, uh... Was that him? God, I'm so bad at this. I can't tell if I'm supposed to aim like in front of them a little bit or behind all right I saw blood that time I'm not gonna try and uh Oh, do they did he just fall down and die? <laughs> All right, well I got one. He literally just fell down and died on his own. So I guess you only have to shoot him once and then you have to track him. I guess. Maybe they leave like a blood trail. But the first one that I killed, he just dropped dead on spot it seemed like. Same animal. Is taxidermy it? Why not? All right, now I gotta go buy a Remington. Something better for deer hunting. What do I buy from the laptop? Richard Knox, don't contact my son. Art McKay, the disease is spreading. I think it's so much more money. I only got like 38 from, uh... I only got like 38 from the, uh, you know... Thing I just killed. Let's go ahead and sleep. What time is it? Let's get to. I guess you want to be up early, right? Uh, Five thirty should be good enough. All right, that's deer hunting time. Uh, I shouldn't use this bad boy for more than a hundred meters. Reach the upper grassland area. I gotta be able to pull the car back around, right? Character? Oh, can I... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> There's like, you know, upgrades and stuff for your actual character. I did not want to set a marker. All right, how the hell do I get my car back? There we go. All right, so I went back, I fast traveled back to the cabin and then I Found a fast travel spot right there that I could travel back to. Waited a little bit later in the day. 
and I finally see a deer. I hope I killed that deer. It looks like it's weak. Now I feel bad. I keep track of those ones though. It limped away, so I feel a little bit bad about that. <laughs> but uh, it took so long to find a deer. I think if you even are running from like a far distance, they can hear you and get spooked. All right, where? It limped over in this direction. Come on, don't do this to me. It definitely was limping. Let me get up in this tower and see if I can see it anywhere. That looked like it was a good shot. Oh, come on, this has to be faster. I don't see its body anywhere. Oh, there we go. I did not want to jump out of there, but that's fine. Okay, so when Hunter Sense is on, you can see its blood trail. Hopefully that's what that is. How far did it get? It's either a blood trail or just its walking path. Nice, there we go. Okay, so if I hit it probably directly in the heart, it probably would have a uh, yeah, cavity damage, creation damage. What am I supposed to do with it? Just harvest it. Oh, multiplayer mode. Accept a new restaurant order from your grandfather's cabin. Another recipe upgrade. Hello, Wallace. I hope this email finds you well. How are you? How's everything? That time of year when Chang wants to introduce some kind of crazy twist to our menu, you know him. Last year, the Beijing duck. This year, it's our chicken recipe. A midlife crisis can take many forms. I guess this is my husband. I guess this is my husband's. Oh, okay. We'll be upgrading our General So's chicken, but with some peasant, sorry, pheasant <laughs> meat. You're welcome to visit us again. Your favorite Sash Sichuan hot pot. I am still holding on to your bottle of Choshin. Waiting for you with love, Lin. I guess accept a mission. <laughs> this reminds me when Grandpa went for a pheasant hunt and forgot to take a shotgun. Yeah, do I have a shotgun? I have to buy a shotgun. Probably have to buy one. Mm, that's not a shotgun. These are all bolt. Oh no, here's a shotgun. All right. I guess I don't, wow. This is a massive map. Yeah, I 
All right, so I gotta find three peasants. Sorry, pheasants. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with these guys. No, let me go back to the ranch and see if there's like a some kind of like index that tells me where to find things. Maybe on the map it'll say like you've discovered Nispers Valley grassland habitat. I already did that. I will just skip ahead to the location that I ended up finding them in. And I'll show you where that is on the map. All right, guys. So I have found finally I found some pheasants. I did kill one of them and I got its meat. So it's going to be here on the map, which is not too far from the white tail deer. And you're just looking for that's one right there, I think. They're in a group on the ground here. So if you use your hunter's sense, you can kind of pick up on some stuff. But I think you might have had to collect it first. Look, I can see that's a pheasant. Palm. Um, 100 meters away. So when you have your hunter's sense turned on, I can see that, what, white tail. There we go. That should be the last one, right? Depends on how heavy it is, I guess. Jesus. Brain shot. I think I might have overdone it just a little bit there. Let me analyze it. Blood color pink. Pick up mail from the mailbox. Yeah, that took me a minute to find because I wasn't exactly sure if they were going to be like hidden or not. But they were kind of just sitting out in the Dear open. River, I've already told you a million times, but I'll say it a trillion. Thank you so much for helping me with Bear Den Ranch. Restaurants always place their orders with me by email. I think you wrote down my email password when you visited me in hospital. I don't trust the postal service enough to write it down here. I couldn't be happier to hear that you started hunting again, despite your father's disapproval. You're an adult now. You can make your own decisions. When he found out you were hunting with me as a kid without permission, and forbid you to ever visit me again, it broke my heart forever. So in a medical sense, this will help to heal the physical scars that share my heart tissue with the metaphorical ones. Do you remember Hollywood? The little fawn you named when we saw him no older than a few weeks? No. <laughs> well, that muley is an old gentleman now, and unfortunately, he has abnormal antlers just like his father. It's a genetic trait that would spread further. I have one request. Taxidermy him for this nostalgic old Jesus. man and put him right next to his father in the lodge. He is the only trophy I left there. The rest, I had my friend Bustin' Dustin move to a bigger place. Do you believe there's such a thing as too many trophies? I'll pay for this taxidermy, but for any others, you will have to save your own money. P.S. I wanted to shoot him many times, but every time my finger froze on the trigger because I think of him as yours. P.S. 2. I have so little to do at the hospital, I decided to draw a little present for you. It's a comic story about the summers you spent in Nesp. I decided to draw some situations we never talked about, and perhaps it'll be easier this way. Maybe you completely forgot about some. Maybe some still linger in you the same way they do in me. Exp it was summer 2002. And 10-year-old River was about to spend his first holiday with his grandparents. River could feel the adventure and mischief in his young bones. Why has River never visited his grandparents before? Wow! Dad! Dad! What? Ask his father. There was a deer! Which one is a white butt? Mule deer or white-tailed deer? It has to be white-tailed, right? I don't know. Grandpa will know. Because my father-in-law knows everything. A few hours later. 
River was finally in Nez Perce Valley, and his joy was matched only by that of his grandparents. But not everyone shared their elation. Grandpa! <laughs> I saw a deer! It was probably a white-tailed because he had a white butt. Mule deer also have white butts. How can you tell the difference? Wallace. Richard. I want to speak to you in private. These are pretty cool little ways to tell stories. River was amazed when he entered the lodge. The walls seemed bigger somehow, and the animals looked alive. Wait here. I've got something for you. But that summer, there was one thing River was forbidden to even think about. To be crystal clear, you were absolutely not allowed to let him anywhere near a gun or anything to do with hunting. Richard, that's impossible. This is a hunting lodge after all. You know what I mean. Will you help me finish it? Days went by, and River couldn't get enough of nature. He already felt it was his best summer yet, but it was about to get even better. <coughs> That's how he met April and Noah. Oh, he's scared to random I'm kids. River. <laughs> ah, why do I always have to be the animal? <laughs> because you're the youngest. Poor girl. Why? This is what hunters do, isn't it? No, real hunters are ethical. They wouldn't make an animal suffer like this and not even retrieve it afterwards. River kept making the best memories he could that summer. He was also determined to find out more about his mother as his father and grandfather never spoke of her. I didn't know my mother hunted too. Oh, you found the album. <laughs> oh, you found the album we laid out on the coffee table Why for you Why do we never talk about her? You'll have to ask your grandfather about that. But you can ask me anything else, sweetheart. But this secret had to wait for another day. Time flew by, and soon the summer was at an end. Try yelling something. Ahoy! On the last day, they made a new friend and named her Echo. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> How did I not realize that Echo was literally just the Echo? I'm glad I at least got it now, but still. Reach the meadows where Hollywood can often be found. All right, guys, so before I go do that, I'm actually going to end this video here. This was just part one, though. I plan on playing the entire story and having that up at some point as well. But if you guys liked it, please like, subscribe. And again, thank you to THQ and Yorda for sending me a code. I really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.